All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And when did all this happen? How is this possible? When did we the people become we the fucking pussies? When did the land of the free and home of the brave become we are a bunch of wimps, a bunch of fucking American wimps? Why are we letting these overpaid bureaucrats just make up shit and we blindly follow it? Why are we allowing this to ruin our children's lives? My head just wants to explode when I see a kid with a mask on. Our children and grandchildren won't even know what freedom is unless we do something about it right now. There's way more of us than them. Just say no. Don't comply. Refuse to comply. Who cares what they say? They're wrong all the time anyway. They've never been right about any fucking thing. So who cares what they say? Just don't comply. And it takes everybody. You got to have everybody. Or the cops will arrest you, which they are complete oath breakers. They swore an oath to defend the Constitution, to uphold and defend the Constitution, which means you do not enforce your, you do not take rights away from people. You can't do that. It's in the Constitution. You can't tell what one business is essential and one isn't. Who decides that? Some fucking idiot in office? No, no, no. Okay, let's get on with this. This, from, this comes from Candace Owens. It's pretty incredible to consider that right now, governments are like, in order to keep you safe, we need to impoverish you, imprison you, force mask and force mask and vaccinate you, plus separate you from your family. And there are millions of people out there who are just like, okay, exactly, okay. Yeah, we'll lock you down and impoverish you. Lock you down and imprison you. Force a mask on you. Force a vaccination on you. Not see your family members. And everybody's like, okay, when did this happen? Oh, and we also need to control the flow of all information you receive for safety. Right, exactly. Free speech is out the window. As a matter of fact, freedom of ideas are not even allowed anymore. Facebook, Twitter, Google, YouTube, same thing. Google owns YouTube. Don't even allow you to express freedom of ideas if they're counter to the, what their agenda is. Let's watch this thing. This is pretty good. Is essential. The government is essential. The government is life. The government is your family. Questioning masks is murder. Questioning masks is murder. Questioning masks is murder. Thinking for yourself endangers the common good. Body contact causes suffering. Okay, that's awesome. Thinking for yourself endangers the common good. I'll put the link in the description. You can check this out for yourself and read some of the comments from the fucking idiots on there. Okay, let's take a look at this for a second. It is scientifically impossible for masks to work. Okay, so you know, don't get all butthurt here, YouTube. This is all about science here. You know, you're all about the science. We can have some freedom of ideas here for a minute, maybe. Major social media outlets are finding ways to block the conservative evangelical viewpoint. Ah, oh, okay, that's nothing. We have been hectored, harangued, and harassed into wearing masks, even though there is not one single solitary random controlled study that shows that they have ever worked. Not one. But no matter, 
At the beginning of this pandemic, Dr. Fauci, the oracle at Delphi to the regressive left, told 60 Minutes, there's no reason on March 8th, there's no reason to be walking around with a mask. Nothing about the actual science regarding masks has changed one little tiny bit since then. The governor of Connecticut, a Democrat named Ned Lamont, has now issued 70 executive orders dealing with coronavirus. These are not laws. These are dictatorial mandates. His latest edict mandates that anyone who leaves home without a mask is subject to a $100 fine. Well, you know what? You should just say, fuck you. No. I, I don't care. Give me a fine all you want. I ain't paying it. I ain't wearing a mask. I ain't doing this shit. This is what people have to do. Or they get, this guy's delivered 70 of these. You think they're going to stop? They're just going to make it worse. Our freedom is out the window. Here's the actual science on masks and respiratory illnesses. Because the variants of the coronavirus, I know you can't say that, I'll probably get kicked off, this video won't make it, are roughly 100 nanometers, one one thousandth the width of a hair, and one thirtieth the size of a surgical mass filtrations, about 3.0 microns or 3,000 nanometers. Surgical masks, not to mention cloth ones, do not help. Surgical masks could possibly stop large droplets from those coughing with very evident symptoms, but would not stop the flow of aerosolized airborne particles, certainly not from asymptomatic individuals. In other words, the pores and masks are 30 times wider and bigger than the virus they're supposed to catch. And I like this one too. I say this a lot. As one observer said, using a mask to protect yourself from a respiratory virus is like trying to stop a mosquito with a chain link fence. Absolutely. The CDC, his latest mate, was citing 10 randomized controlled trials that showed no significant reduction in influenza transmission with the use of face masks. So there you go, YouTube. The CDC is saying this. Not me. The CDC. The science. All right, I'll put the links in the description. You can read through this yourself. I won't make you suffer through me reading the whole thing. We have become emasculated as a society. We sure have. We have become a people who are willing to surrender every morsel of our liberty at the ever-changing and capricious whims of public health officials, who are always wrong, by the way, even when they are appallingly contradictory and without, without any evidence justifying the 180-degree U-turn. He means from when they said you, didn't have, you shouldn't be wearing a mask to all of a sudden now you have to. Our passivity has allowed our entire country to become a Halloween nightmare masquerade every day with no end in sight. Not unless people stand up and do something about it. All right, let's look at this real quick, and then we'll end this one. It's starting to go a little long here. New study shows mask mandates had zero effect in Florida or nationwide, but the lie continues. Blow this up. All right, I'm gonna, you can read this through all this. I won't do that. But here's in Florida, when counties did have a mandate in effect, there were an average of 23 cases per 100,000 per day. When counties did not have a countywide order, there was an average of 22 cases per 100,000 per day. But that's just Florida. Surely masks have worked the rest of the country. No. When states did have a mandate in effect, they averaged 27 cases per 100,000 per day. When states did not have a statewide order, they averaged 17 cases per 100,000 per day. So there you go. Science shows 27 cases per 100,000 with masks, 17 cases per 100,000 without masks. The masks don't work. It's totally ridiculous, and we're ruining lives. We're, people are committing suicide. Doctors are getting fired for uh, speaking out. We are ruining our children's lives. They will not know what freedom is. We have to make this stop. You have to make this stop.